from around the globe. It's the Cube, covering Fortinet Security Summit. Brought to you by Fortinet. Welcome back to theCUBE's coverage of Fortinet Championship Security Summit from beautiful Napa Valley. Lisa Martin here with John Furrier. John, it has been phenomenal to do an event in person, outdoors in Napa Valley. The future's so bright, we have to wear shades. It's been sunny and it's been hot. It's been great. It's been a great, it's been a great day. I mean, I think Fortinet stepping up to that sponsorship for the PGA is a bold move. They're doing well on the business front. They're expanding it. It's good for their customers. It's a new bold marketing step for Fortinet. Obviously they're doing extremely well on the business front, as I mentioned. They got a lot of cash coming in. They got happy customers and they're all here. And golf is a great environment for tech buyers. We know that. So it's great to have the cube on the sports circuit and uh, We'll be doing more of them, it's awesome. Love it. Good, Love it. I, it is great to be on the sports circuit. One of the things that I talked with several folks about today, John Madison being one, the CEO, uh, C, CMO, and then Ken Z, the CEO of Fortinet, about the cultural synergies between the PGA and Fortinet. It was really nice to hear how both of these companies, both of these organizations are so invested in yeah. things like women in technology, um, STEAM and STEM programs, and they really align yeah. on those two cultures. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a culture fit. I mean, they basically, it's a winning formula. If you look at Fortinet, um, you know, and having that kind of representation is good. They, they, they have a great reputation, Fortinet does, PGA does as well, and it's quality, right? So people like, like quality and they want to align that, so it's a great business move for Fortinet to, uh, to do the, uh, the golf sponsorship. Uh, multiple years, I think it's six years, five or six years they're doing this. Yeah. Um, it's phenomenal, I think they're going to, Fortinet's going to turn into a marketing powerhouse. I think you're going to start to see John Madison and the team uh, really gin up some nice new things, because you can do a lot with the PGA. Again, there's foundations, there's charities, again, a lot of causes that are involved in, in fundraising around the PGA, and you got the, the tour poor players and also the tech scene. So I think tech and sports has always been something that I've loved, and I think you know we love to come bring our sets here, and having the Cube here is just a really fun kind of winning formula as well. We love it, and we, and we wish we could be here for more days. Next I, year, I think I we will, but this has been so much fun. It has been so much fun. There's been about uh, over 300 customers and partners here. Fortinet is a 100% is a partner driven organization. A lot of innovation being discussed the last eight hours or so. But one of the things that you definitely feel is the strength in their partner community and Fortinet's commitment to it. Also something that really impresses me is their commitment to helping to fill the cybersecurity skills gap. Yeah. This is a gap that has been growing for the last five years. They yeah. last week announced a pledge to train one million people in the next five years to help shorten that gap. And as we know, the, the threat landscape is only continuing to expand. So yeah. a great combination there. Yeah, I mean, it's a cause that's a good business logic behind it because you, there's a lot of negative unemployment. They need more people to do cybersecurity careers, but also you mentioned women in tech. You know, a lot of that's a big movement too. You're starting to see a much more women in tech scene here. We had uh, Merritt Bear on principal office of the CISO at Amazon Web Services on. She's amazing. She's wearing the Amazon crypto shirts. That was a home run. Love that interview. But you start to see them Fortinet with the whole scene here is they're taking their message directly to their customers and they're including their customers. So the magic of this formula that they have with the PGA and this whole program is they're going to have live concert series. They got a pavilion here with all their top partners and customers. They're doing a summit behind us with their top marquee customers and they're telling the story direct. And I think you're going to start to see Fortinet really do more of that, what we love on the Cube, which is take that direct to, to media model to their customers and contents data. We had great conversations here. I mean, I saw you interviewing the uh, head VP, uh, SVP of AT&T Cybersecurity. Uh, amazing uh, uh, candidate there. It's a great CUBE guest and he was just dropping some serious wisdom. Yes. So, great guests all along, fantastic. Well, it's, it's been an inspiring day. It's nice that Fortinet has taken the step to do an in-person event. Obviously, yeah. they did it extremely safely. We were outdoors, but people are I think a lot of people, and I'm speaking for <laughs> myself for sure, ready for this <laughs> to come back. I mean, the, the threat landscape, yeah. the changes that, uh, that yeah. Fortinet has seen yeah. in the last 18 months are phenomenal. The growth yeah. in ransomware nearly 11X in a year, and you had this massive shift to work from home, and now they're talking about how they're partnering with Linksys, for example, yeah. to help enterprises to really make that remote work environment far more secure faster and optimize for the worker yeah. who's on video conferencing, communication tools. All the kids at home gaming are probably <laughs> going to be pretty bummed about this, but it really shows Fortinet's commitment to yeah. this 
there's a lot of permanence to what we're seeing here in this moment. Yeah, now you, you and I have done a ton of interviews uh, to, uh, together and uh, with a great guests around cybersecurity, and the phrase always comes up in, over the past decade, there is no more perimeter. Here, you couldn't, you couldn't, it was louder than ever here, because now you have so much going on, connected devices, the future of work is at home with the virtual uh, issues with the pandemic and now with the Delta variant, uh, continuing that forward, it's a reality. We're in a hybrid world and um, everything's going hybrid. And I think that's a new thing for companies to operationalize. So they got, there's no playbook. So there is a security playbook and what these guys are doing is building an ecosystem to build product uh, that people can wrap services around and to solve the key security problems. And that's, to, that to me is a good business model. And, and the SaaS is again, and you're seeing everyone go SaaS, they want to go SaaS product or you know, uh, some sort of business model that's involved in cloud. So cloud, security, SaaS, all kind of rolled up. It's really kind of interesting trend. Yeah, we've talked about a whole bunch of trends today. One of them is is just, you know, one of the marketing terms I've been using, and I don't like to use it, but around for yeah. years is future ready. People, tech companies are always describing solutions and technologies and products as future ready. Well, what does that really mean? Well, when the pandemic struck, yeah. none of us were future ready. Yeah. Yeah. But what we did hear and see and feel today from Fortinet and their partners is how much acceleration yeah. they've done so that going forward, we are going to be future ready for situations that arise like yeah in this challenging cybersecurity landscape that businesses in every industry can prepare for. Yeah, and I think that they, the talks here in the cybersecurity summit behind us is interesting. Uh, Tufin, one of their customers, and other talks are the same thing, talk about the cultural shift. The cultural shift in security departments has, become, has to become more agile. And so that is a big you know, untold story right now is that security departments aren't well liked. They slow things down, I mean, you know, app review, everything's got to be looked at and it takes weeks. That is not good for developers. So app developers in the cloud, they want minutes. You know, shift left yep. is something that we talk about all the time in our events with the developers. DevOps movement is putting pressure on the security teams culturally. The question is, who moves first? <laughs> if you don't go faster, you're going to be replaced, but you can't replace the security team. So I find that whole security cloud team dynamic a real organizational challenge, and that's something I'm going to look into. It's one of my key walkaways from this, this week, yeah. It's a huge organizational change, and with that comes, you know, obviously different cultures with these organizations, but at the same time, there really is no more choice. They have to yeah. be working together. And as Ken Z and I were talking about, you know, security is no longer an IT problem. Yeah. This is a board level initiative yeah. and discussion. Businesses in every industry, whether it's a retailer or PGA tour have to be prepared for. Yeah, I mean, I'm a security hawk. I think every company needs to be prepared to take an offensive strike and be ready on the defense. And this is a huge agility and speed because ransomware, if you get taken down, you know, I mean, that business critical issue, you're dead, you're dead in the water. So, so again, this is all part of this quote, digital transformation uh, that everyone's talking about. And security is a do over, everyone's doing it over and doing it with the cloud. And I remember just recently in 2012, People were saying, oh, the cloud's not secure. It's now so more secure than anything else. So we're starting to see that shift. So that reality's hit everybody. So it's been great. What are some of the others that excited you about the conversations that you had today? I was pretty impressed by the fact that one was a physical event, as you mentioned. So, you know, people in person, I, I found it refreshing. I think people here, I noticed, were one, relieved to be out and about in public and talking on theCUBE. Um, but I was really impressed with uh, the guests from Amazon Web Services, well, the crypto shirt that got me there, but I think this idea that security um, is not just a guy thing, right? So to me, women in tech was a, was a big conversation I thought was very positive this week um, here, and still a lot more work to do, but I think that was cool. And just the talks were great. I mean, it, it's cutting edge concepts here. And I thought AT&T was great. I thought uh, Too Fin was a great conversation. And again, all the guests that were awesome. So, you know, what did you think? What was your takeaway? Just how much acceleration we've seen in the last year on innovation and partnerships that really jumped out that when, like I said, we talked about future ready and go, wow, so much yeah, of the world yeah. wasn't future ready a year and a half ago when this came out. And all of the innovation and the positivities that have come out of technology companies collaborating because we don't have a choice. We, we have to figure out secure yeah. work from home, for example. We know that some amount of it's going to persist. Hybrid maybe here to stay, <laughs> to see what Fortinet and their partner ecosystem have done in a yeah. short time period, yeah. given the fact that, you mentioned ransomware, and their, their global threat landscape, I was talking with Derek, nearly X increase in yeah. ransomware in just 
And they got Fortigar, they got all this. I I think your interview with Ken, the CEO, I thought was really compelling. It was one point he said, um, we're making a lot more investments. You asked them a pointed question. Yes. And I think that theme comes across really strong in all of our interviews today and the conversations in the hallway here is that people that are making the investments are doing well. And so uh, there's more investments being made. And that's like, people kind of say, oh yeah, we're making investments, but you, you have to now. And so the other thing that I thought was awesome was John Madison talking about their strategy around the PGA. It's a bold move, but Fortinet's kind of got this mindset of always innovating, but they're not, they go step at a time, so they get better. So I'm, I'm expecting next year to be uh, better than this year, bigger uh, and more integrated, because that's what they do, they make things better. Um, I think that's gonna be fun to watch, but I think that's a bold move for Fortinet to be doing this kind of marketing. It's really, they haven't done that in the, in the past, so I think this is a really bold move. I agree, and they've spun this out of their Accelerate event, which is an event that we've covered for years in person. Mm -hmm. So this is the first time that they've pulled the Security Summit out as its own event. <laughs> and clearly, there was yeah. great buzz behind us all day. A lot of, a lot of, uh, topics, a lot of discussions, a yeah. lot of partnership, and you're right, a lot of talk <laughs> about investment, investment in their partner ecosystem, yeah. and investment internally. Yeah, it's fun too, on a personal note, um, we've been following Fortinet for many, many years, you and I both, uh, doing the interviews, and you doing most of the events, is watching them grow and be successful. Yeah. And it's, I'm kind of proud, they're like, yeah, I'll go for it, and I'm kind of rooting for them. And I want to thank them for inviting the Cube here, because we're so psyched to be here and be part of this awesome event. And again, golf, the Cube kind of go together, right? Sports, the Cubes, we love it, so always fun. So thanks to Fortinet out there for uh, supporting us and being, being part of the Cube. Well, you got the gear, you got your Fortinet yeah. golf t-shirt, yeah. I got one too, yeah. and pink, it's beautiful. Yeah. You got some shades, it's we, got some, we also here. have some gear here. <laughs> Help us in the morning for our next shows, be caffeinated. Yeah. But no, awesome. it's been great, it's been great to be here. Yeah. Yeah. Great to co-host with you again in yeah. person <laughs> for yeah. 20 months or so, and yeah. looking forward to seeing how Fortinet evolves and how We're back, and the Cube is back. back at the events. Thanks to the crew, Chuck, Leonard, everyone, Sarah, Brendan. Yes, thanks to our crew. Frank, well done. Fortinet, thank you. Thank you, Fortinet. All right. John's you, been great. Thank you for having me up here today. Looking forward to the next time. From Napa Valley, Lisa Martin for John Furrier. You've been watching theCUBE.